He's Treshawn Ward, running back with Boston College. Treshawn, appreciate you hopping on the chat, man. How are we doing today? Man, we're doing pretty good, man. Just well that I'm glad to be able to talk with you guys today. Yeah, we're excited to get into it. I want to start with off to this foreign word and start you guys off for Boston College. You've won pretty much every way imaginable. Yep. Dominating Florida State, blowouts at home, coming from behind like we saw against Western Kentucky. What's been most exciting about this season so far for you, though? I mean, I think the most exciting thing for me is like, you know, obviously with my last year being this year, just doing it with the people around you, man. You know, when it comes to the start from like January and like, you know, all the workouts and stuff and whatnot and doing it with your teammates and building that chemistry is like what you really want in a team. And like, you know, doing it with the guys and winning out there with the guys and just seeing like the fan base coming out there, showing like their support, you know, it's a big, a big support for me, man. And like a big eye opener because, you know, I mean, I've been having some teammates and coaches as well saying, like, you know, from last year to this year, like the amount of fans that's been out there and students that's been out there as well has been a big change. So that's a good thing for Boston College. Bro, I want to talk to you about the running back room because, look, you guys do it by committee here at Boston College, right, including your QB1 when he's healthy, of course. So I noticed, though, you ran all over FSU, your old team. You ran all over Sparty. How do you feel about running back by committee? Do you like that? Or are you more of that Derrick Henry aura? You want all them carries. Do you want to be the every down back? Or do, do you feel almost even fresher by the running back by committee style? Uh, I feel like the running back committee by, in a sense, it gives like a, gives a defense a false pretense. And when I say that, it's like, you know, you've got to prepare for like both both running backs when it comes to me and Kyle. So in relation to that, like not only like, you know, you're not going to be getting beat up as much, but like everybody, well, both backs are going to be able to be fresh when they come in. So I feel like this is a pretty good, you know, system with being able to, you know, get some rest while you're in um, during the game. And like when you come in, you're fresh as well. So like, I mean, I don't really too much pay attention to that, but just like, you know, when I get in the game, that's when I'm in the game. So. Yeah, you, you kind of humble with that answer because as Trev alluded to, 138 total yards, one touchdown against Florida State. I yeah. don't want to look back to week one too much, but Treshawn, how sweet did that feel doing that against Florida in Tallahassee under the lights against a team you played for and just dicing up their defense in a big, big, big win for Boston College? Yeah, so, you know, obviously, like, my teammates and the coaches and everybody around me knew, like, this was going to be, like, a big game for me. And not only just because it's my former team, but, you know, I'm just coming back and see, like, some of my teammates and some of the guys out there was there when I was there. So being able to play against them and see them for another chance, because, like, you know, I've been bouncing around from Kansas and now I'm up here, so I haven't seen them in a little <clears> minute. But, you know, getting that dub in Tallahassee was a good win because, you know, obviously everybody was kind of doubting us out, you know, pointing us out. And, like, you know, when it comes to, like, our uh, program, you know, within the work we had and, like, throughout the week, we just know that, that without our work, that was going to come out there and take that win. And, like, you know, we just had this mindset that Bill instilled it with us and, you know, just faceless opponent. And, like, we only need everybody. We only need anybody that's in, like, our program to believe in us. So it was a great win to pick up and tell you. Hey, you know what? While we're talking about your path to get here to Boston College and how you played at Florida State, look, you played in the ACC and you played in the Big 12. I'll keep it real with you. Coming into this season, I thought Boston College would be improved, and you guys are, but I thought the ACC overall would be down. This would be a down year. You look up right now as we sit here, three ranked teams in the country from the ACC. Talk to me. I know you guys are getting into ACC play. But talk to me about what you've played against so far in conference and what you've seen from it. It's much better than I thought, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the ACC is like, you know, it's a it's a pretty, uh, what's the word? It's a confusing conference because, like, you know, obviously you got your big schools like Clemson and Florida State and all that. But, like, you also have, like, for the teams, like, that's coming up. Like, it's, it's really anybody here when it comes to ACC. Uh, you seen like this year, obviously with the team starting off with a strong start, and um, you know, with the uh, the standings from like preseason and all of that, like it gives a f it gives a sense of who's going to be good. But like you know, you don't really see that until like college football really been played. Like college football, you never know what's going to really happen. So, but I mean, in the ACC, I feel like it's like 
it really is anybody's game. Like, you got to come with the mentality of every week of getting better, and you know you got to play each game without like not not worrying about the uh, the opponent. So I mean, it's a, it's a pretty confusing conference if you ask me. But I mean, it's really up for grab for anybody. Hey, one thing that no one can get confused with, Boston College, with the offense you guys got, with how the defense is played, yep. you, we know what we get. You guys are going to attack, pound the rock on the ground. Tommy Castellanos is going to make his amazing plays. You guys have been winning. When we look back at what the season has been, dominating Florida State on the road, you have that game against Duquesne, it comes down to the very last play of the game with a huge interception by BC to beat Michigan State, and then to come back from down 14 against Western Kentucky – how have you felt the confidence in your locker room grow game by game, especially the way you guys continue to respond to no matter how sideways a game may go, you find a way to win? Yep. I mean, I feel like the confidence is just like, you know, kind of a, the way defense plays, you kind of get that confidence to play complimentary football. So, like, when you see the defense get out a big shout-out or, like, you know, a sack or interception, like, as an offensive-minded person, like, you want to be like, okay, since the defense just got off the field, maybe we're going to try to go and get on this field and get uh, some stakes mm -hmm. or a point. But um, with that, it's just like complimentary football is a good is – a, is, a is a great thing. And that's one of the – things that we've been talking about as a, a program that we got to play a lot more complimentary football as relation to both sides of the football so I mean obviously we want to have that that mindset of running the ball tough mindset and you know don't really care who we play but I mean we got to play better at complimentary football hey look I know from talking to you before we got on camera how much admiration uh, and respect you have for head coaches in football. I want to talk to you about your head coach, man, Bill O'Brien. You know Billy O. He's a local boy around here, so he gets a lot of love. Talk to me about the Bill O'Brien experience as your head coach. What have you learned? What do you love about him? Why is it working for you guys? You guys are – we talked about some of those ranked teams in the ACC. Hell, you keep winning like you are. You're going to be ranked – here before long talk to me about your head coach yeah man what you see is what you get man but I, I really don't think like a lot of people get is that he has a great sense of humor like throughout our team meetings like there's like times where um he'll be saying some sayings like like just some general saying like I don't even know where he gets it from but I'll write it down and like he'll have the whole like the whole team laughing and the coaches as well but not only that when he comes in the room, like, you know, they everybody knows he means business. So, like, when he comes in, he talks to us, especially when he's coming from a professional back, like a professional standpoint. He knows what he talks about. He's been coaching the best. So he knows how he knows how to win. And also he's been in those situations where we want to get to where we want to get to, which is a championship. So he brings a, a very, um, when it comes to, like, our offense, you know, he brings a pro-style set. So when it comes to that, like, you know, most of our admirations of getting to the league is, like, you know, already in this college level with Bill O'B. So he brings, a, you know, intensity in practice. And, like, when it, when we have our lows in practice and it's not at the intensity he wanted, he's going to bring it up and, like, get on us, yell at us, and, like, say we need to pick it up. So he's a guy that's going to, you know, have a humor. Um, he's going to be really hard-nosed on you if you don't have your, your stuff together. But, um. He's loving as well, though. He has a he has a, a side that you know, like really people haven't really seen. I love hearing that. I mean, the man is serious as can be. Can be fiery. We've seen it from when he's with the Pats. We've yep. seen it at BC, <clears> but he keeps it light. It, it doesn't have to be the best one. But do you have any of those sayings off the top of your head that he said? <laughs> I got you. So one of the sayings. This was during like fall camp, and um, this was like uh when during like uh, the one on ones with the O and the DL. Or I think it was like team or whatnot, but uh, basically the D the D line was just rushing through the gaps like they really like just rushed through the gap and got to the quarterback and he was like um he was pulling up the film and it was like this is like a this looks like a a screen door inside of a submarine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like when, when he said that, when it kind of brought me up top, I'm like. Like, a what? screen door inside of a submarine, and then I got it. All like, all oh, the water going through it. Like, ah, it makes sense. But yeah, it was, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. No, I love that. He finds a way to like level with you guys and see it. And I and I could imagine when Bill O'Brien gets to the heights, that is something that interests you. An NFL yep. coach, proven, been everywhere, been calling plays at every level for someone that was in the portal. But being from Florida, you went to FSU, then you're at K-State. What drew you to Boston College to land here with your last year of eligibility to play college football? 
Yeah, obviously, um, one of the biggest was, you know, my uh, position coach, Savon Huggins. And, like, you know, with him having, like, a – with him being highly recruited when it comes to his uh, his career in high school, I feel like our conversation and the connection we had was really dear. And not only that, but, like, you know, the plan for me and, like, you know, coming here, getting this, you know, egregious – uh, degree when it comes to Boston College and like the Alumni Association dealing with that like you know you're going to be pretty much set up for life so not only that but like you know when it comes to the team last year they were talking about how like yeah man we were like seven and six but there were some games that we should have won that could have made us either nine wins or ten wins and I want to be a part of something like that but um yeah the play that he had and like you know coming here to a uh, academic school that's going to have you pretty much set up for you know life after football and just seeing like the alumni association around like you know sports administration and like front offices and whatnot this was this was something i couldn't pass up hey i love you point out save on huggins because trey sean i'm from jersey oh god just like anyone from Florida does <laughs> okay. you guys you okay. guys look out for each other you you know you you likely oh, know god. save on huggins was a legend at st peter's prep when yeah. he's playing there I, hey they told me man he told me the stories for sure man like you know when it comes to rutgers having everybody knowing him when he was in high school showing up to the visits in the spring game and whatnot so like yeah man i know he was he, uh, he even told us he was on the back of the bus too like like oh the yeah, buses around. Yeah, so it was like you know. You uh, walk awesome, up on awesome. yeah. you walk up on St. Peter's campus. You're like this small school. Like they got powerhouse football players. That's how it was, mm-hmm. man. S- Savon's a legend. Oh, Trav's God. rolling his eyes. I'm gonna stand up for Jersey every time. Trey Sean. <laughs> Trey Sean. I love you pointing out what what has what has stuck with you learning from Savon Huggins, who's a Jersey legend. I got to say it one more time. Man, like you know his passion for the game. Like I I don't think like. I think a lot of people take for granted for like coaches when it comes to like their passion for the game and some of them kind of see it like oh man I don't know he's being hard on us or you know he's being a little bit too much but like I feel like the passion for the game and the way he teaches and like how he prepares for us when it comes to game is like really what makes things slow down for us so I mean his passion for the game is I mean nothing like I ever seen before so but it only makes you want to practice hard and come out with a mentality like with his mentality of coming out to work and just like you know get better every day Treshawn, I'm sure your coach is a fine guy and a legend and all the great things but I my man George always no matter what we're talking about brings it back to Jersey no matter what we're doing I, I want to ask you about your quarterback here because look right now you guys have two good quarterbacks let's call it what it is now Casalanos we know is the man Assuming he's back for UVA, talk to me about him, not only as a playmaker, but as a teammate, because that kid is a stud. Yeah. So, um, obviously, you know, with him, man, it's like when it comes to the football, like you got to really determine as a defense what you want to start when it comes to the passing game or the running game. But, like, not only that, but outside of, like, you know, you know, football, his character, man, he just has, like, a, such a great humor. And, like, you know, he, he's loved by everybody, man. Like, he can talk to anybody, you know, making it, make it seem like, you know, y'all been friends for years and stuff. And, like, especially on my visit, like, when it came to here, like, you know, he made me feel welcome and just, like, you know, give me that, that, that good talk that I needed. But not only that, man, he's just like a – he's just a guy that thinks he can do everything. Like, he can kick a soccer ball. He can, he can play baseball. He can punt. He can, like, be a D lineman. Like, it's just funny. And, like, you know, you've seen around, like, everybody around the, uh, the facility and, you know, everybody around them, you know, thinks the same thing. But, like, when it comes to the real and when it's time to really lock into the football standpoint, you know, he brings the offense up and he, like, really gets in, like, that mindset, like, hey, I need you, man. I need you to lock in, take a deep breath, man, mm-hmm. and score. Let's go get this drive in. But, like, he's a he's a great leader, man, great humor, and he knows how to uh, talk to everybody and really, you know, relate to everybody as well. I love you point that out. It's all about that leadership. Yep. And obviously brings the team a lot closer together when you guys got them on the field. Hey, what are you looking forward to? This matchup's at UVA this weekend, back on the road, ACC kickoff for you guys. What What's important to you? What sticks out to you about this opponent in the Cavaliers down in Virginia? Yeah, um, obviously we have like some of them. Um, 
I guess, like scouting report, and OB does a great job at that during like the first part of the week. But um, obviously, their their defense they have some physical uh, front seven when it comes to like their D linemen. They got some good D linemen, and as far as their backers, they have some great backers too. That's physical and tough. And as it relates to the uh, passing game and like the receiver, that's probably where we're gonna make our money at the most. You know, when it comes to the DBs and like you know, uh, kind of like suspect a little bit back there, but. Um, when it comes to the DBs, I mean, when it comes to the, the defense, like, you know, they have a group, a great group of uh, seven. And really, you know, we're going to try to do the same thing every week, man. Start clean football, you know, start fast, <clears throat> being able to run the ball and create an identity for ourselves throughout that. But, you know, with that, we just got to come with a, a sense of, like, just playing one play at a time and being able to stay on schedule.